Hi, I'm in Silver Creek Nursery in Ontario, and I am here meeting Ken of Silver Creek Nursery. He's going to show us how to do some grafting, actually bud grafting today. So let's see what he's going to teach us. We're here to do some budding. What, what's the first step? What are you going to do right now? Uh, the first step is to cut off uh, a section of new growth. So from here up is new growth in this year. And that's where we want to take our buds from. What are we going to do next with that new growth? We're going to remove the uh, leaves off of this new growth and the fleshy top part because the buds up in the top part are not as mature as the ones down at the bottom and so it's uh, more risky to use them for budding. Okay, at the base of each leaf stem there's a, a bud which can be used for budding. There's one here and one here and one here. There's also one here where there isn't a leaf stem which could be used. Uh, we're looking at a rootstock that was planted this spring uh, outside in the nursery row. Uh, when we planted it, it was this tall, and then this is this year's growth. And then down at the bottom here is where we put the bud onto the rootstock. And what you see here is a little rubber, um, a rubber band basically that goes over the bud and and seals it in place. Okay, let's see what you're going to do. Show us some buddy. Okay. The first thing we want to do is uh, make our cut in the rootstock with the budding knife. And the first cut is uh, the bottom cut like that and then down from the top about, about five eighths of an inch and then I make a cut in my bud wood to match that so starting at the bottom below a bud and then from the top down and then I grab this bud from the leaf stem so that I'm not touching the cut surface and I stick it in with a little flap. Like so this is a little bit of cut surface showing all the way around. And then I take one of these rubber ties and tie it on. Stretch the tie across it to seal that bud in there and squeeze the staple a bit and slide it through. And there, that one's finished. What are the chances of success? Um, if everything is, uh, if you have ripe bud wood and, and the conditions are right, um, you're looking at 90 to 95% success. And once the bud starts to grow, do you cut off the rest of the tree, like the rootstock part? What part? Where, do, where would you cut once it starts to grow? Um, yeah, in early spring, you would cut, um, yeah, just right above that bud, basically, and then the bud grows out and forms your new trunk. Perfect. It's finished. So how many of these trees would you do like that each year? Uh, each year, um, around six to eight thousand. How's your back feeling after six to eight thousand trees? Yeah, it gets a little bit sore at the start of the season, but the muscles strengthen up. <laughs> what are some of the mistakes that people make when they're budding? What were the mistakes you made early on? 
Yeah, I think the biggest thing was using budwood that's not fully ripened. That's uh, very important. Um, and I think it's also good to choose good plump looking buds whenever you can. So that's what I kind of learned is to try to pick the best looking buds for sure and ones that are well ripened. 